This is the Ergo Baby All Position 360 Carrier. I'm going to use it to show you how to do a back carry for an older baby or a toddler. It's important to set your carrier up right to carry on the back. So the things to check are to make sure that the buckle at the end of the padded piece of the straps is through the safety elastic and clipped in safely with a medium sized loop with a dangly end that you can grab and exactly the same on the other side. So clicked in through the safety elastic and a medium sized loop with enough dangly end for you to grab. The other thing to double check is that your carrier is on the outer buttons. It's grey on the inside, which is for facing away from you, and on the black. It should be on the black for any carry that faces you towards you, including front hip and back carries. So on the black on either side. It's also a nice idea to have the hood out. When the hood's out, it means you can use it even when the child's on your back, because it's really difficult to get it out of the uh, little zipped pocket with the baby on your back by yourself. So having it dangling out in advance is a good idea. I've put the carrier on around the waist and you can see it's a velcro waistband so it's a bit of a strange thing to do up around your torso so I've done it up and I've put the carrier on my side and then we've done up the safety buckle over the top just like that. Starting with the carrier on the side means that we can make sure the panel fits the child and goes over any outerwear that they're wearing which is important when we get to older babies and toddlers uh, but it also means that we don't have to do quite so much swiveling with the velcro waistband which is harder to adjust once they're in. So when we're ready we're going to pick up a baby and sit them on our hip. Now our hip carry is a really kind of useful normal place for us to, to sit a baby so you stick your hip out and you put them on there but this time we're going to roll the carrier up onto their back and it's at this point where we can really make sure that it's coming up nice and high that it's nice and safe the minimum height it should have is just underneath the armpits a little bit like where you'd pick up your child if you put your thumbs under their armpits to lift them from the ground now they're at the side we can hold on to both of these straps and we're going to hold on to them in front of our baby's chest now it's not squeezing them it's not too tight there's enough space in there but equally they've got no way of getting out of it at the moment so when I'm ready, I'll hold my strap in front of my baby's chest in my right hand and I'll take my left hand off and I want to go underneath the first strap and then through the second strap like that. So I can do that again, take my arm back, as can you if it doesn't go right the first time, you just take your arm back out again underneath the first loop and through the second one. Once we're up there, I can swap hands holding the straps, making a nice firm fist with my thumb meeting my fingers and slide my hand inside this velcro waistband and we're going to bounce this baby around onto the back. It usually takes a couple of little movements to do it but babies usually like being bounced around. Now I've got a good firm hold up here, I can bring my other hand up and separate the straps. This one is of course where it should be and I can hold them both together and guide my arm through the loop just there. So the only thing that remains is tightening your carrier and doing up your chest strap. Now a nice initial tighten all about angle bringing the carrier back underneath your arms and then you can do up your chest strap and then we'll do the final tightening. So you can see there's still some slack in there. So it's all about angle with these straps. If you struggle with tightening it up try bending forwards and pulling backwards like that to really get the angle on your arms and we should be able to get it so that there's very little left to do on that loop you can see that makes the babies as high up on the back as they can get so this is the back carry with the ergo baby to make sure that baby's nice and comfortable you can reach to the back and just lift up the knees and give them a bounce around real life children will often take their arms out of the top as long as the carrier is coming up to underneath the armpits that is safe to do